Hey, eat it. Eat it. Oh, Archie, are you still here? Eat it. <laughs> Distance. I want you to call the plant on the phone right away. Tell them I ain't coming in for work. Tell them this tooth is flashing up on me again. Oh, yeah. All right, as soon as I get back. Where you going? I'm going over to Louise's to borrow some aspirin for Gloria's cold and for your tooth. Yeah, I'll oh. be right back. All right, all right, hurry up. Oh, you ought to see a dentist about that tooth, Mr. Oh, Bunker. Oh, uh, I'll be all right. I don't think I want to go to work anyway. I think I'll stay home. Maybe I'll use my time to uh, inspect and clean my guns. <laughs> oh, you're a gun collector, Mr. Bunker? Well, I got a couple of souvenirs uh, I took off the crouch in the war. You know, WW2, the big one. I got a 45 caliber German Schmauser there. <laughs> And uh, over here, I got a 38 caliber German Flugel with a telephonic sight. <laughs> I shot a German colonel in the butt with that. Hey, you must see plenty of action. Hey, hey, hey where, where, where are you going? Upstairs, I gotta work in the bathroom. Oh, uh, well, well, wait a minute there, wait a minute. No, I, I wouldn't want you to do that because uh, uh, my daughter is up there and they're taking a shower. She ain't gonna get very wet. I turned off the water. <laughs> yeah, well, wait, now, wait a minute. No, what I mean to say is that uh, uh, she's taking a nap up there, and I, I, I wouldn't want the wake, you know, to wake her up. So why don't you do something else that you can take... Maybe you walk around the block until Strinsky the boss gets here. Mr. Bunk, if you're worried about me being upstairs with your daughter... Yeah, well, well I am. I knew it! <laughs> I knew it! That's why I get so uptight being on the outside. Oh, oh, I no, hold, on, hold, on, hold, on, hold it, Nick. What? You never want to express your opinions with a monkey wrench. <laughs> There's the cup. I think I'll answer it, okay? Sure. Yeah, no, oh, don't get uptight about nothing. Don't get uptight, Nick. No, I'll, I'll, I'll just uh, answer the bell over here, huh? Yeah. Oh, Strinsky, it's about time. Get in here. Thanks a lot, Arch. What are you talking about? For popping off at Kelsey's last night. Huh? You told the guys I was hiring help from the Mafia? From the Mafia? What are you talking about? I never said anything. To... I told everybody that you give a job to an armed robber. I never said nothing about the Mafia. All I know is Barney Hefner called me. He said he don't want no killers working on his water heater. Oh, Barney Hefner, gee. A few more remarks like that, I'm going to be out of business. Now, look, Mr. Strinsky, you know, if it's going to be a problem. And maybe I better not go with you on that Hefner job. That's right, I'll handle that myself. Mr. Strinsky, uh... What about the job after that? Well, to tell you the truth, Nick, after today, I don't think I can use you anymore. I wonder why I ain't surprised. But look, Nick, I got a plumber friend of mine up in the East Bronx. He's always looking Hold for... it, hold it, hold it. If I may just put in a word there, Nick, I wouldn't take no jobs up in the East Bronx because there's a strong criminal element up there. <laughs> Will you knock it off? It's your fault, it's not well, no, no, it's not his fault, it's my fault. You know, I should have known better never let them talk me into this cockamamie furlough scheme. I think I'm gonna give up plumbing until they start rehabilitating you people on the outside. Oh, oh no, Mr. Howard, you mustn't give up. Remember, failure comes from the inside first. It's there if we only knew it. And you can win, though you face the worst, if you feel that you're gonna do it. Edgar A. Guest. Them are only words, Mrs. Bunker. Oh, but they say a lot. Nick, you wouldn't want to let down Edgar A. Guest. Who the hell is he, another plumber? <laughs> I wouldn't want to let you down, Mrs. Bunker. If I can run into one person like you one day out of 30, maybe I can stand the other 29 on the outside. <laughs> Give me that wrench, huh? I gotta finish my job. <laughs>